Hi there, today we've got an unboxing of a Nespi case with gaming controls. So quite a cool bit of kit here by a company called GeekPi. Quite a cool name there. Now this particular kit retails for around £35 on Amazon. And the idea being, you put your Raspberry Pi inside the case and you've got a mini gaming system. So let's check out what you actually get. So initially, you get a nice little carry case. Build quality seems okay. Pretty firm. Some string there to obviously tighten it up. And branding, obviously, on the actual packet. Get two controllers. Rigid plastic all the way around. The feel of it seems quite good. So left and right here, and additional controls here. And you can see just there, select and start. There you go, build quality is the same for both. And USB connectors on there. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual case itself. Really nicely packaged. So there you go, Nespi Case Plus Retro Flag for all of us. <laughs> Do like the packaging, very nice. Okay, let's open it up, see what you get inside. So if I carefully open this. Okay, so some extras in there. Let's open this up. It's a cooling fan. Some screws for fixturing. There you go, the connectors for it. Got a heat sink there as well. If I can show that up close. Three different sizes. Okay, those. And the actual case itself. Let's take this out, put it to the side, and got some instructions there as well. All in English, writing there, and just some simple basic instructions on there. Okay, let's look at the actual case itself. It's quite cool, you've got a power and a reset button. So obviously the power pushes all the way in, press it again, it pops out. The reset button, pops back into the same position. Two USB ports for the, each of the controllers. Nespi case plus retro flag for all of us. There you go, you've got your ethernet and two additional USB connectors on there. Let's work our way around it. You've got some additional points there. So you've got your micro USB, you've got HDMI port, and another port there as well, if you run. And then micro uh, SD card slot there. Okay, what's this? Does this pop off? Oh, okay, storage point for your micro SD cards. It's quite useful. Okay, the actual case itself. Top pops off. Build quality's good, quite nice and solid. And within there, Got a screwdriver and some screws and board with the actual additional things so obviously Ethernet, USB, and a connector that connects straight into the Raspberry Pi. Quite well made, I have to admit. Very well made and looks pretty cool as well. Okay, so we've got all the bits laid out here. Initially, let's have a look at the actual sizing of the Nespi case. So, height wise, we're saying approximately four and a half centimeters. Depth is just a little bit over nine. And the width is approximately just over 11 and a half going on to 12. So yeah, quite a nice compact box. Okay. So next, let me show you how to actually 
place your Raspberry Pi inside the NES Pi case and connect it up. So I've got a Raspberry Pi here, a 3B model. So I've had a quick flick through the instructions. So I'll show you how to connect it up. So let's open it up first of all. Take the actual Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna plug in the ethernet first of all, and then we're gonna go for the USB. And there's another connector there that goes straight onto the pins here. So you just gotta check that there's two empty gaps here, if I can show, and a single one there as it shows in the picture. And it just pushes straight on there gently. Okay, and then carefully adjust it so it just sits into position. So the hole you had here is for your audio and obviously you can see your HDMI there and micro USB there for power. Now, sorry, the uh, micro SD card, like so. And you can just grip onto it to pull it off again. It's quite good. Okay, so the next thing to see is the actual screws you get with it. So the bag that has the screwdriver, which is quite convenient getting that. So you'll have six longer screws and two shorter screws. So if I briefly flick over, it will show you'll get two small ones and six longer ones and the six longer ones go in these locations and the two shorter ones go in those locations. So if I flick the actual case over, so you've got the location for the longer ones, three there and this three way. there, so one there and one there. So one thing to be aware of, you've got a, a safe shutdown switch just here. So if I maneuver it into that, just make you aware. And let's screw this in then. Can be a little bit fiddly. We'll manage. There you go. Board's secured in. Next we can actually plug in the fan. The fan's just there. Obviously you've got red and black on there. So red being positive. So I'm gonna put it around this way onto there. And the actual fan actually clips onto this, the actual case. So if I just push it on like so. And then I can screw it on on those locations with these screws that it came with. So interestingly enough, looking on the instructions, there's no mention of the actual fan and connecting that. But pretty straightforward, obviously on the board itself, you've just got the words fan just there, so you know where to connect it. There you go, the fan's in place. So we can just now just ensure it doesn't pop off anything. Put the case on and then the six screws can just sit in place. Okay, so the case is now secure and the Raspberry Pi is within the case. So the next thing is, we're gonna get our RetroPie image onto our micro SD card, which is in there. And then we can show what the actual usability is, like with the actual controllers you get with this. Okay, so I'm at my monitor. We've got the NES Pi case here with the Raspberry Pi already installed, as you've seen. Now we've adjusted the actual configuration 
to allow the graceful power down to work so that's quite useful so once you've finished playing with it no messing around just hit the button script will run and it will gracefully power it down description below will have details of how to configure this so if you're wondering how it's done pretty straightforward so let's initially just power it on and if you listen carefully you can hear the fan that's running in the case it's a very subtle humming noise there not too bad so let me reposition the camera onto more of the screen and then we'll take our controller one and we'll attempt to start a game up works well it's quite responsive let's start something up so you can see it in action there you go really good okay so you've seen the unboxing of this nez pi case plus Build quality wise, it's really good. Nice, it's got all the connections available on there. Nothing's actually hidden. Anything that is hidden from the actual Raspberry Pi is readily available. It's got power and reset buttons as well, so quite useful. But obviously you need a script to be running on your Raspberry Pi to make use of those. Micro SD cards easily available. It's got a compartment for additional micro SD cards as well, so that's quite nice really cool way of doing your gaming nice that the actual package comes with the controllers a fan and heat sinks for your actual raspberry pi it's got a screwdriver as well and really it is just a complete package you don't really have to mess about getting anything else so actual really controllers. nice so i put those in easily fits there you go for storage as well it's quite nice it comes with so that there you go details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe